We begin with a dramatic turn in the crisis for control of Ukraine. This morning, there's an apparent power vacuum there, with reports its president fled Kiev, the capital, after signing a peace deal with opposition leaders. Holly Williams is in Kiev. Holly, good morning. What's the latest? Good morning, Anthony and Vanita. The center of Kiev, Ukraine's capital, is now under the control of anti-government protesters. They've occupied Independence Square here for nearly three months. Uh, but just a day ago, there were lines of riot police facing off with the demonstrators. Two days ago, scores of people were killed in bloody clashes. Now the police have melted away and the protesters have encircled the presidential offices. Yesterday, Parliament sacked the interior minister. Now the ministry which controls the police force says it serves the Ukrainian people and shares their desire for speedy change. A top aide to President Viktor Yanukovych said he has left Kiev and gone back to Kharkiv in eastern Ukraine, which is his power base. One opposition leader said he will now push to impeach the president. Yesterday, Yanukovych made several concessions to try to end this crisis, including a promise to hold elections this year and an amnesty for the demonstrators. But it wasn't enough for the protesters who have said all along that they won't leave the streets until the president is removed from power. They accuse him of being corrupt and increasingly dictatorial. This is still a volatile situation. It's a power struggle that's already turned violent. But the demonstrators do now appear to have the upper hand. Anthony and Vanita. Williams in Kiev, Ukraine. Thank you.